HSG 274 is the new guidance document set out by the Health and Safety Executive. Some of the uh, changes from the previous document, which was uh, L8, um, some of the changes to take note of was that the thermostatic mixing valves uh, in the premises need to be inspected. Um, we say annually, but it does specify in the guidance documents to manufacturer's guidelines, which I do think that uh, a number of the manufacturer's guidelines do state annually. Temperature ranges is something else to take note of. Um, in the healthcare industry, these have been increased um, from the, the standard 50 degrees to 55, uh, and on the return, a similar, th similar thing. The best way to have a look at this is the document is free to download from the HSE website, and it has its, all the relevant documents there, and it's broken down into three separate parts, part one, two, and three. Part two will give you the best information regarding your, your standard domestic water systems. Part one and two, or part one and three, are mainly aimed towards the other risk systems, with part three talking about cooling towers uh, and other relevant systems. The new guidelines kind of make you aware of some of the important changes to the guidance document. Uh, one of the key notes is actually the Legionella risk assessments themselves. They can vary on size um, and you know, obviously information depending on the systems. You know, we would recommend that you know, you're from your local takeaway all the way up to your um, hospital as such has a Legionella risk assessment. You know, it kind of makes you aware of some of the risks within the building. And it's always a good idea to, to have that documentation in place for future inspections, maybe by CQC or even Ofsted. I don't think Ofsted will check as much, but if you've got all your relevant assessments in place, it will help and it will show that you're working towards a, a better practice rather than kind of doing what you think is best. The Legion risk assessments themselves will highlight uh, residual risk of the building, but it will also highlight some of the risks that you may not be aware of. One of the risks taken into consideration are dead legs. These are abundant bits of pipework that can't be flushed, so the water inside will become stagnant and potentially could proliferate the system. One thing we have noticed is that in this day and age, with such as modern washing machines, they don't require a hot and a cold feed plumbed into the back. Now they require a singular feed from you know, your, your cold. So what we're finding is that there's a, a lot of hot water pipe work which aren't being flushed or ran, or it's just being left to stagnate. And this is causing you know, bacteria to proliferate within the system. You know, if, if water's consumed, which could have bacteria in, the problem that you'd have is that because your body's made up majority of water, it can cause illness. One thing that we do do is we don't just test for Legionella bacteria, we also test for E. coli, coliforms and TACC, which is total aerobic colony count. This kind of gives you a, a better idea of the quality of water that you're supplying to your staff, to your residents or even to the general public. It's imperative that you kind of get it done because at the end of the day you're in charge of this building and if anything happens to a member of staff or a patient or, or the general public, you are liable potentially for prosecution.